Jacksboro Police and the Campbell County Sheriff's Department are working on a slew of car break-ins. Jacksboro Police Ch Detective Mike Starrett tells WLAF that Jacksboro Police responded to eight calls Sunday night in the Wheeler Landing, Perkins, and Indian Mound subdivisions. Starrett describes the cases as someone who is looking in the vehicles for loose change, GPS devices, or anything they think they can easily access. He adds that the suspects were only getting into vehicles that were already unlocked. Chief Deputy Aaron Evans with the Sheriff's Department says Sunday night's target area was Jacksboro and areas of the county just outside of Jacksboro. Evans calls those responsible gutless and cowards who prey on folks in the cover of early morning darkness. The chief says that if you see something, he wants you to say something and call 911 or the sheriff's office at 423-562-7446. The 2012 Campbell County Christmas Parade is just around the corner, Saturday, December 1st at 6 p.m. in La Folle. WLAF's Big Josh Edder is this year's Grand Marshal of the Christmas Parade. In addition to the evening parade, there are festive additions. Immediately following the parade, the city is closing South Tennessee Avenue in front of City Hall where you may see all the winning and competition floats and also take part in the reindeer games at Sargent Park. The man of the evening, Santa Claus, kicks off the lighting of the park, Sargent Park. WLAF-TV 12 again will televise the parade with playbacks on the weekend through December. Children will have the opportunity to have pictures made with Santa for $5. Churches, civic organizations, scouts, crafters, and businesses are encouraged to participate at a booth fee of $40. The event will host everything from churches selling delicious baked goods, hot chocolate, and cider, to crafters selling homespun creations. There will also be live performances with singing and dancing for holiday entertainment and so much more. The scheduled close of Reindeer Games is set for 9 p.m. All money from Santa Photographs and Booths fees will go toward the lighting of the park and additional funding will be used for next season's props and upgrades toward parade character costumes and float staging. All are strongly encouraged to attend and participate in building a wonderful tradition in our community with our Christmas parade. Look for additions this year with our Christmas court of high school students and our returning and ever so popular Teacher of the Year which is elected by public vote on the parade website beginning November 12th. For more information on the parade and to enroll as a participant, float entry, or general questions, log on to www.campbellchristmasparade.com. Watch the information video or contact Kelly Jo Wright at 912-8873. For more information, as always, you can drop off or fax forms to City Hall. The 2013 edition of Campbell and Jellicoe Basketball christens the new season tonight. Campbell plays at Lenore City with the Lady Cougars game tipping off at 6 o'clock. The voice of the Cougars and former Cougar Adam Smith returns for his second season of calling the orange and blue action for WLAF. Hear all the fun of the Cougars and Panthers on 1450 WLAF radio and see the games televised live right here over 1450WLAF.com. 
Jellicoe tips off its season at home with the Scott Highlanders tonight with the Lady Blue Devils playing at 6.30. You may hear the Blue Devils at home and away over 1450WLAF.com as well as the games over 107.1 FM. This is the weekend for the Thanksgiving feast honoring America's veterans. It's set for Saturday, November 17th at 6 o'clock at the Davis Chapel Community Center. A meal of turkey, dressing, and all the fixings is just $5, and you may purchase your tickets at the Historical Society or on Maine Financial. You're encouraged to donate an additional $5 that goes toward the Adopt-A-Soldier for Christmas campaign. For more information, call 423-494-0742. It's regular monthly meeting night for the Campbell County Board of Education today at 6 o'clock. The school board meets at the courthouse and we'll have the story for you first thing tomorrow morning right here. A public forum is scheduled for tonight in La Follette. The forum topics are issues surrounding the Baker's Forge Memorial Cemetery. The forum begins at 7 o'clock at the historic Wedding Chapel on South 6th Street. And tomorrow is going to be a grand day for the Campbell County Volunteer Fire Department. AT&T is presenting Don McGuire of the Fire Department with a $1,000 check. Alan Hill with AT&T presents the check to the Fire Department on Wednesday at 11 a.m. at the Jacksboro Fire Department. The donation is part of AT&T's community outreach. And that's the news for today. We'll be back with a press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. And taking a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department, five people have been booked into the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. Robert E. Chadwell, 55, of West Forest Street, La Follette, for possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance. 26-year-old Stephanie E. Duncan of West Catula Lane in Duff for initiation of procedure intended to manufacture meth. Toby Ryan Lane, 19, of Pleasant Ridge Road, La Follette, for theft of property under $500. 27-year-old Crystal Rose Schwett of Thelma Circle in Jacksboro for violation of probation and on a capious bench warrant. And last today, Tammy Lynn Walker, age 50, of Fairway Drive, La Follette, for passing a worthless check under $500, passing a worthless check over $500, and passing a worthless check over $1,000. That's a look at the news for today. Thank you for joining us. Stay right here. We'll keep you informed. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Hey, Big Josh with you on this Tuesday evening, looking at our birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. Let's look at our birthdays today. Oma Walden is celebrating. Happy birthday to you, Oma. And also, Mr. Daniel England is having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Daniel. And Eldon Newport. Mr. Newport is 81 today and is a proud veteran. Happy birthday to you, sir. And we got some uh, belated birthdays from Sunday. Wilma Bruce celebrated. Happy belated birthday to you, Wilma. And yesterday, Diana Jones celebrated. And happy birthday to you, Diana. Now, if you're celebrating your uh, birthday today and for some reason we don't have your name, we want you to have a great day, too. But uh, we need your name on our list in order for you to qualify. And the same goes for anniversaries. Uh, you need to get your name in here. Uh, we have a drawing every Friday. And uh, you could win a birthday dinner for two from 
a WLAF and Eastside Pizza, or an anniversary dinner for two. And our anniversary today, we have Paul and Lisa Houston. They're celebrating number one. Happy first anniversary to you all. We hope you have a lot more. All right, that's a look at our birthdays and anniversaries brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. See you tomorrow about this same time.